It's still the stream still saved itself, right? Yeah, once the stream stops, it's good. Alright, boy, let's do this. Bag Bagnadrana. Bagnadrana. When enemy cards are played from hand, what? Well, this is a power level three. Okay, so let's. Let, I think I say we run destruction build. According to that, as long as that's on the field, every time you play a card, it gets po more powerful. So unless you destroy it, you literally can't stop it. All right, let's see. If we can get a uh, capoeira. Nope. nope. Oh well. Now let's see. Arch Dragon is really the only one you can put down. Or Crawler. Yeah, Crawler Actually, would... no, wait. I do Arch Dragon and then Crawler, because then and that's then Crawler. Spots. That gives you more options. Doesn't, unfortunately, you can't. Doesn't let you put Minkasoma just yet. But... And now, done. Interesting. Wait a minute. Oh no, the wheel won't reach anything. You can destroy your own card. Yeah, but he, he's then gonna take my space. Fair enough, but you have nothing that can get that space. Yeah, you could do that and then get mid guard somewhere. Yeah, mid guard in here. Or not destroy the space? What the fuck? But okay. Hmm. Oh, wait. Now you can destroy that seahorse with the wheel, the death wheel. Now, mid gun solo. Uh, what? Okay, do the Toxorette. I can't. Damn it! Well, you can do the Capoeira. But. Literally, the Capoeira is the only thing I can't do. You can either lower that middle one or get that. And now... Okay. <clears throat> there goes the wheel, which raises Midgun Summer. And now all he can do is pass. You got this. So much for Mr. Champion. <laughs> Champion is down. Did he even play that, his nah, card? Nah, his car got like thrown in the very back of the bus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, after oh. here we go. My name is Ladrell Balmont, and I am the creator of the game Queen's Blood, which means that. This nightmare is of my own making. I didn't know. How could I? <laughs> you hear her too. Time's running out. <laughs> She's calling me. Commanding me. She's made me her prisoner, her 
cursed guard my shackle. The end is nigh. Or perhaps this is only the beginning. The Shadow Blood Queen is. What the fuck? of the game's creator who speaks of portentous events to add another wrinkle some of the world's very best have recently met with unnaturally violent deaths people are calling this the curse of the drow not even the third eye can discern the true cause though it is clearly something sinister. are we getting into some Yu-Gi-Oh shit where there's like an ancient deity cult behind this We're going to Gangaya. Also, Godzilla stream crashed briefly. Stream? You sure it wasn't my setup? It caused a stream to crash. That's fair. Oh, poor little fog. He's all tired. Too bad. We're going to Gangaya, but, whether you like it or not. But yeah, we getting into some Yu-Gi-Oh! There's a cult behind this card game shit now. Or some ancient demon entity? It's like goosebumps. Can you the... say it? Huh? Can you say the fly? I keep saying. <laughs> Me. Where are you from? Yeah. Me? Gungaga. Hey, oh. what's so funny? You know Gungaga? No, it's just such a backwater name. <laughs> Nibelheim. I do wonder where they came up with that name. Like, how'd they come up with Gongaga? I know Nibelheim is Norse mythology. It's Nibelheim. Are you sure they also got? And Midgar's Midgard. Yeah. How long have I been out? Not long. Uh, about 15 minutes. What? Hmm. What is that? Beautiful. Wait, is that what will take you back to the grasslands? I would assume so. Let's go if over not, there. If not the grasslands, Junon. Oh, you don't want to go over there? I can't. No. Oh wait, oh. Aerith knows the name. Hey, up ahead. That our jungle? Indeed it is. Hold on, little Miss Carsick. We're almost there. Hooray. <gasps> Oh well, we couldn't go there. The Gungaga region. All right, my headset died. I didn't hear anything after he said "Little Miss Carsick." There is all she said. Okay. Also, Little Miss Car. Oh, I meant to say, there's a village up this way. Fancy popping in? The reactor's not going anywhere, and I bet we could all do with a wee cat now, eh? Sure, let's. Uh -huh. I saw a purple chest. You okay? Oh, I just... PTSD. I feel like I've been here before. Deja vu. Little shit that slipped through when he was semi-conscious. Ujata, what? Is that the weird? All right. Well, I'm I happy. Know. Within these lush jungles, re relatively untouched by human hands, a small community strives to live a self-sufficient existence. 
They cultivate several staple crops, including mushrooms, which thrive in the humid climate. Shenra's presence is nevertheless felt. For the par partially destroyed Maka reactor is a constant reminder of the company's folly. Partially. Oh, well, we can get her... Oh. Uh, no, we can't. and then level her up one more time get sweet and sour salvo okay. oh. mega potions three nice. I could have sworn I saw a purple chest or was the purple the eh. nice Glad now we get to actually physically explore Gungaga. Because. In Crisis Core, you didn't really get to explore much of it. You kind of were like, alright, yeah. you're here, head to the reactor. Yep. Uh, well, now that we can free roam, let's see if we can head to that little dock. Right the dock, now. yeah. Oh, this game is gorgeous. Uh, rugged Shore. Controls Gongaga Shore. Going. That way. Oh, here it is. Oh, yeah. I saw a Reddit. Th I saw a Reddit. I saw a Reddit thing where people were talking about, like, specifically people talking about uh, waiting for Maximilian to finish his playthrough of this game. And people were annoyed that he was actually, that he was taking so long because he was actually exploring instead of just doing the story. Uh, do they not realize how big of a fanatic of a, for this game he is? And some people in the comments said as much. Yeah, like, and this is on Reddit? Like... Yeah, this was a Reddit post. I would probably have to go not, through my yeah, history to find it. Yeah, do they not room. realize that this guy was like... He took forever on remake, the remake playthrough, and remember, there's like barely any free roaming in that. But yeah. he was just soaking up everything because this was basically his childhood. Yeah, every little reference and reimagining of stuff from... Yeah, like, like this was the biggest event. Okay, so this... Yeah, ev eventually... We have to come here and there'll be a boat or something. But hey, if we missed a... I don't think we missed a purple chest. I think it was just the folio thing you were seeing. And like I said, even if we did... Even if we do, we'll be able to buy it from the next weapon vendor we find. We'll definitely pay her off. Is that a frog? Is that a fucking frog? Yes, we must kill them. It looks like there's two things here, actually. Oh, how my friend would hate me for killing these things. Too bad. Am Amphidex. Cloud, Cloud saying too bad is hilarious after what I just said. <laughs> Amphibious creatures living in densely wooded areas. Their main form of self-defense is their ability to transform would-be predators into fellow frogs. They then dispatch this threat with furious kicks and punches unique to their species. Exploring their elemental weakness, ice, will pressure them. And I'm pretty sure there's something else. Yeah. Fright flower. Botanical fiends that take root in heavily wooded... This is not heavily wooded, this is a beach! <laughs> they absorb nutrients from the soil until they bloom, at which point their appetite becomes markedly more bloodthirsty. Exploring their elemental weakness, fire, big surprise, will pressure them. Oh, they're, uh... It's I think it's growing. Fire's flower. Oh, eh, there we are. Okay, so you want to kill those things as fast as you can before they pop up. And <laughs> look how derpy it is. 
My sister, my sister's favorite animal is frogs. Yeah, my my good friend and her girlfriend, and Oop, their favorite animal, favorite animals are frogs. So they would hate me for killing frogs. I think it was going the other way. Oh, it's right fucking there. <laughs> it's like, you blind, mister? Oh, I'm just staring at the ground and my surroundings. I like how the music doesn't really even start until you get to the village. Yeah. I mean, I have to go. I have to go and look up a video or something. Uh, make sure I didn't miss a choke or something. Oh, more frogs. Anything else? Nope, oh, just frogs. I do like right, how she, yeah, she moves towards yeah. them. You didn't know that? No, because I, I usually. Before I use it, I would move her towards them and then use it. No, yeah, if you are not controlling Aerith, the AI will actively move. Kind of like when you told Tifa to use Star Shower and then pulled the enemy away from her. She actually ran after it before doing Star Shower. Stop for a second. about the new president's proclivities. You wouldn't believe how much he spends on those fancy suits. No, why did I even ask? I'm sorry, what? I don't want to know how much that... Ow! Catch him aside. Well, looks like you might actually have to fight a flower. I was so hoping that would hit the tree and not make it. And just start the. I just start a giant forest fire. Whoa! Hey, look! Hey, it's purple version of those things from Nibelheim. Chimera mimic. Yes. Large insects that infest forested regions. At first blush, they appear to be a disturbing amalgamation of other arthropods. To attract prey, they are capable of twisting their form to resemble that of a flower. Ooh. Hitting them with powerful offensive abilities will pressure them, and they're weak to ice and lightning. So, the blade firebolt and it counts as a powerful. Did you just tell that thing to sit the fuck out? <laughs> It like jumped in the air and you just like staggered it, which slammed it into the floor. <laughs> like, no, you staying down here. Oops. More amphibians. And a flower. Why are you using fire instead of the fireball blade? It should work the same, but without MP. Or hell, if you just want to pressure it, you can simply do the fire attack move. I think we found our XP grinding part of the game. Why, just because of all the enemies? Yeah. I do wonder what the recommended max level is, because the max level in this game, if I remember correctly, is 70. Level 33. 33. 
My guess, 50. Probably. And uh, I'm wondering, will they raise that in part three? Will they raise that to 99? Oh, we got the summon crystal. I guess Chadley will tell us about it now. Never mind. I knew this cat had two faces. Ah, come on now. I'm only doing your leg. Who are you kidding? You were literally built by the company. Probably stuffed you full of teeny tiny listening devices. Teeny tiny? The late president believed that bigger was always better. Small went against his philosophy. Knew him well, huh? Stop. Some nine to five nobody you are. Sure your name ain't Stamp? Pretty sure. Hi. Might want to check. Hate that we basically interrupted whatever Chad was about to say. And I doubt we can get him to say it again. And that's how Barrett climbs a rope. Play. We'll get if you analyze that, we'll get to see what it looks like. I think it's the dragon one, or the dragon-looking creature. The one with the Devil May Cry looking one? The Devil May Cry beams on its wings? The creature we find Devil May Cry, the one that was holding Lady. Oh, that. Yeah. And? Am I right? No, I'm not. It's like a Minotaur. Trying to square X, trying to square it. To be honest, I didn't even look at I it. I see three. I see three pairs of eyes on this thing. Yeah, one, two, three, all on top of each other. They're all like a bull. Interesting. Which you haven't equipped. You haven't equipped Alexander to anyone. Yeah, I think now you should probably start, now that you have more summons than you do party members, probably uh, look at stats when equipping them to people. Like, as if I'm correct, you don't want to put Alexander on Aerith because she benefit does not benefit from him in any way. I will and say, shit though. Like that. So far, this place is a maze. I think I just follow the torches and we'll be on our way. Probably. I mean, that's how Horizon works. Yeah. Speaking of which, yeah, I could tell that this game was very bigly inspired by Horizons. Well, vast... of course, you have the you have the just by the climbing part, you have the yellow one and everything. That's literally. How you but can yeah, tell I'm, you can climb I'm, on a horizon. What? Oh, the mushrooms. Oh, but we need a chocobo for that, I'm assuming. Damn it. Did you know, Cloud, that forest chocobos use mushrooms as springboards? Damn it, and I see a blue over there. I want it. We get assaulted Fine. by a bunch of Ewoks. Mushrooms. They're lucky food. I wonder if that's a reference to anything. Like... All right. And here's. Are these? They are. Gungaga mushrooms. Wow! I wonder where in Gungaga. Maybe hard to come by in Midgar, but here, here you can't move for the blasted things. Wow. Hmm. And people. Your staffs. How threatening. Passing through. Hey! There she is. Here's his name. You. What? Uh, nothing. For a second, I thought you were someone else. 
Shouldn't she know who he is, though? I mean, she saw him. Yeah. Who are you people? I, you'll do. More importantly, why are you here? Not to survey the reactor, I presume. Ah, no, just to <laughs> We're on a wee field trip, you see? Oh my fucking god. He knows. Welcome to Gungaga. I'm Sisney, Coalition Captain. Yes! It's playing <laughs> it's playing Crisis Core music. Do you think Zach's parents are still alive? No, in the original game you could actually talk to Zach's parents. Oh my sure god, bro, it's that. Crisis Core music! Yay! Of but yeah, she, know she knows. So, based on her reaction, I'd. I'm. It's safe to say that is still Reeves. Our village is a quiet one, as you can tell. Let's keep it that way. So I'm assuming she like quit and then just started protecting this place. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna. I'm sorry. I, I gotta find the track of what's what Crisis Core track this is. I know it. This is making me. This is making me geek out, man. This is, the fact that other people probably don't even realize it. the The fact that you guys didn't even realize that Hollow I played in. Po I wish Pocho was still here. Uh, you could call Please. her and wake her up. She, yeah, she a bit sleepy. I'm afraid to. You do it. Why me? I don't want her to be angry at me. Deal with it. Fine. If she asks, I'm. Telling you her it was your idea. Did she tell us to wake her up or Yeah. Damn it, how did I not recognize it? It's cr the Crisis Core theme, but the remix is called Under the Apple Tree. <laughs> oh, wait. Look is. where we are, Pocho. And look uh, who it is. We arrived in Gungaga. And... We're in Gungaga. And we found Cisne. Oh? The girl. girl. Oh. oh, I remember you. Didn't Zach just was chatting with you, but. Yes. Keep pushing him away. Hey, thank you for sparing us. <laughs> Yuffie has no idea what the fuck is going on. And thank Barrett God. can't pray because he has a gun for a hand. So what is this? Three years ago, the reactor here suffered a catastrophic failure. It was old and couldn't handle the stress. It needed maintenance, which Shinra never provided. And then one day... So, they're cheap as well. over? This was the company's way of trying Died. to make amends. I'm surprised they even made the effort. And thanks to the hard work of our people, Gongaga rose from the ashes, right? <laughs> That's nice and all, but one memorial doesn't buy absolution. You guys must be tired. I know you've got things to do, but if you wanted to rest up... Wouldn't they say no? Hey, My house girl. Is just down there. Got an open door policy, so feel free. Woohoo! Don't mind if I do. And the way uh -huh. you go. Gonna take a look around. Hey. Seriously. Do you know Zach is it's dead? Honest, okay. I mean, granted. And now. So new Queen's Blood players await your challenge in Gungaga. Those Gungaga mushrooms you found? They're all yours if you want them. We got more than our fair share. Uh, the cemetery. 
They didn't settle down here until after the reactor incident. Place may not seem like much compared to Midgar, but it's Which, keep in mind, the reactor incident had already happened in Crisis Core. Oh. It was already broken and leaking at that. Can't really and read. And now, now we go and find everybody. Starting with Kitsu. If Shinra had wanted to, they could have done something about the reactor. If she knows Zack is they not away. longer alive. He probably alive. has a good idea. Yeah. Kill those people, and everyone thinks Avalanche are the bad guys. Sad. Aerith hasn't been herself since we got here, has she? Wonder why. Does she know the place? No, but she's heard of it from a fair anything amount else? of people. Weird. Did he say anything else? Aerith hasn't been herself since we got here. Nope, has that's she? it. Yeah, you don't have a thing. Hey, Red. Telling species apart can be difficult. What looks like a Gungaga mushroom may in fact be poisonous. For me and my nose, the difference is obvious. But for someone like you, well, let's find out. Which of these do you think they are? Oh, boy. Uh, which one was Kate Sith holding? I don't think it like was the a, left ones. It, it was the middle one. Alright. But I'm gonna say... Correct. I suppose the scent does oh. make it rather obvious. Was well, the right ones. I know. Does he have anything else to say? It's exceptionally easy on the pause. As if it exudes life itself. The soil here is exceptionally easy on the pause. I bet. All right. Today, I'm oh. going to teach you about an important part of our history. About the terrible accident that forever changed Gungaga and her people. I'm sure all of you know about our Mako reactor. Okay! All in unison? But yeah, in the original FF7, you were able to talk to Zack's parents. I don't know if they kept no. that. I'm hoping they do. Because... Down, Kate's. Oh, piano. Oh, hey, Tifa. And here's Tifa. See how they dry their mushrooms here? Bet they'd make for a mean stock. Doubt there's much it wouldn't improve. Soups, pilafs, maybe even a pot roast. I don't like mushrooms. What sort mushroom. of thing would you go for? I'm gonna go with the pot roast. Ah, uh, why does that not surprise me? I remember mom saying how Claudio's was the best she'd ever had. If you tell me what it was like, that I could try and make it for you. Dumb luck, or did you? Uh, why'd you pick that one? I was following a guide. I think uh, I think that was the right choice. I don't know. It's been a while since I looked at it. Uh oh. Uh, All right. So there's so... Mr. Music Man and the piano. Cinco de Chocobo. That reminds right. me of something I swear I saw. Uh, let's see. Alright, Cinco de Chocobo. 145. Oh, trumpets. Okay, never mind.
damn it. Well, I have something I want to say, but I have to wait till the stream is over. Damn. Okay. I think we found my first. Okay, I'm just going. I'm going to go for A for right now. I'm not. I'm not doing that shit on <laughs> at tonight, bro. I want to actually explore. Uh... We'll save this. We'll save this for another. I don't know if you'll be able to get every music track in this game. Why? The final one is locked behind Johnny's trophies. You have to get all 88 of them. I also got spoiled for the name. Yeah, you have the six normal tracks that you get graded on, a seventh track that you get for getting A on everything, and then an eighth one that you got that is locked behind Johnny's trophies. Note to you. Okay, we'll come How much do you that. need for A? Uh, Nothing. Twelve. One twenty-three. All right, we'll we'll give him one more. You've got here. to one twenty. You've gotten to twelve thousand. I I got. I just need three more. Three hundred more. Yep. Man, that beginning part messes you up. Okay, well, I definitely got it that time. Okay. All right. Yeah, we'll 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 come back to that. We'll we'll come back. But to yeah, that. It, that one's a lot more. I'm gonna Since be honest. I... Don't okay. don't don't tell me what the last song is. So wait, I how many? I don't even get it. There's no finer sound in all the world 
than the voice of a humble piano. Might as well just get the... So, there's the two A. extra ones after this, or is there one extra no. one? When you get A on all the ones on the list, you get a you get an additional music track, and then you get an eighth one from getting all of Johnny's trophies. As in, oh wait, yeah, trophies is in. The... There, there are six pianos that you can get play music on. When you get A on all those, you get a seventh one. Or getting A, and then you there's an eighth music piece which you get from Johnny's shit. Oh. No way to stay Bookstore, we don't need that. Check the weapon shop while we're looking. Give them Look at all these Ow. Now we have not appear so. Alright. What's the matter? Hey. Do you want to play a game? Ah, you there. We fought a dog. Now we're fighting a chocobo. Great, Oscar. I found someone you can play against. Let me introduce you. This is Oscar the Swift. He's a watch chocobo. A huge Queen's Blood fan, too. He gets cranky if he can't play at least one game a day. So, how about it? Mind going around with him? Oh, boy. Sure. <laughs> D. Griffin. Griffin, replace an ally and re raise the power of allied cards on affected tiles. By the replaced ally's power. So if he replaces, like, Midgar Somar with a high stack value... And you basically if he replaces Midgar Somar or, or the Chocobo that have been majorly boosted... Oh, uh, that's... something, yeah. Basically means you want to give him as little things as possible. I think that summer we got. Caller we got. Yeah, we can just do the Arch Dragon thing again. Doesn't do very much in terms of getting the good summer or leave. It's a lot of space. That's best saved for after he puts one down. The thing you can really put down is either the Arch Dragon or Toxer, right? Uh, you can put this. Oh, wait, no, that's a one. But in your best bets, the talks are up. Oh, because then he'll, he might. Shit. You put the wheel down, it won't do anything. Still, not a lingering effect. Ah oh, crap! Oh god damn it! Got this in AI. They don't try to flex. <laughs> I think you just got a bad opening hand on that. Well, you got the crawler and the capo wire. 
see if we can find Mr. Midgut somewhere. Nope. But we have the cap wire and the crawler play. But yeah, you do have to remember, except for the Mind Flare, all of these cards destroy when they are placed. Not, they don't linger. Hey, man, get some. Nope, he's putting him down. Yes, he is. Oh, and that but destroyed he wasted it. And it helped me instead. Yes, it did. Got the mind flare. Yeah, for example, that will... It'll place a peg there, yes, but anything that's put on there will not suffer any negative effects since it is after being placed. Now you... There's a two. Uh, you could put the... No, wait, that's only a one. So you could put the zoo there, and that won't do anything. No, your only real choice is... The Arch Dragon, if you want to add pieces, gets stolen. Oh. You can put the wheel down. That'll destroy the Chocobo. If, but, oh, oh that one. Alright, now I'm just purely... Oh. Hey, you can put the Mind Flare down. That gives you that. There's the capital. That. Nah, it's game. Lost. Oh, dang. You could try the buff deck. Enough. Okay, I gotta make sure I win this one then. Or win this, win that line. That's probably the best. Then you could put can put the wheel down and destroy that top right one. That. Actually, yeah, if you do that and that one stays, you can destroy the Chocobo with the Arch Dragon. Damn it! Then he'd steal it. Be a stupid bird. Thank you. Wait. You can put down the Arch Dragon, but it won't destroy it. That won't do anything. Swim. I think you should try the buff deck. Oh, wait a minute. There. See I if would put I, it. I, I can Just risk it all. Put Midgar down. Or mine. 
Well... He doesn't even destroy them. Dead. Fuck. Yeah, no. Yeah, I... Let's try buff. Yeah, buff deck. And at this point in the game, you could probably make an even better version of these with cards you've gotten, but... I forgot, what do we usually want to have in the beginning? The Chocobo and the Cactar. The others, I don't think there's a preference. Yeah. Oh, well, you can put the Chocobo and move it down. I think the Ignalis of Earth Titan. Ooh. Now you could use the Ignalis and steal that. Oh, you bitch! The crab would. So he. Now the Zim. That doesn't have a. That middle one was a. Your final move. Got eighteen. It's getting pretty close. Fuck. And that's it. Chickens, man. Okay. okay. I could probably look up an upgrade to these. On it. What chapter are we in right now? Nine. Well, I found three. But I'll wait on that. Wait, 
Can't the Moo replace that middle one? Or the Ignolisk? Ig not Ignolisk. Nah, because if I do this, then he's gonna just steal it. Granted, this leaves me with 19. Or. Oh, well. Nah. Oh, no, it's up. Yeah, you could. Put the spider on the one on the right. Please put it on the back. Fucking bitch. Now scrutinize it. Yeah, bro. 18. That damn chicken, man. Okay, so I have three. There's the Ifrit buff deck, the Chocobo Jockey deck, and the Replace buff deck. Uh, don't, don't know if you have any of them, but these do say they're for chapters 6 through 10. So let's we, just do... I'll just go through each of them and see if you have... First, the Ifrit one. We got two crystalline crabs. Past it. Two ignalisks. Okay, two amphidex, which we don't have yet. It is bought at the general store, so maybe we should go to the general store and buy shit before doing this. Okay, well then, what's the other one? Uh, well, let's... Yeah, that was... What's the other one? The, that was the that effort, was the effort the one. Chocobo. Chocobo 1 has... Two Mandragora. Uh, you, it's by the wolf. Two of the crabs. Two spear hawks. Spear hawk. Two J U or sorry, one J unit sweeper, which is directly below you. Right. Two quetzalcoatls. Somewhere. Oh, right. All the way on the right. Up to. All the way on the right. Titan. The Chocobo Jockey. Which we got. He's here somewhere. Oh, oh yeah. Or you, oh, that's where we got the Oh, nah, that was from the gold saucer, which we didn't buy. Oh, fuck. Alright, well, that just leaves the final one, which okay. is the replace deck. That is two sandhog pies. Is also from the back. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. Two sandhog pies. Two heat seekers. Two fright flowers, which I highly doubt we have because we just fucking ran into those, and I'm assuming they're also in the boost effect. So, yeah, I'd say let's go and buy shit from the store, and then Our come back and fight a chocobo. It just so happens to be right fucking here. We don't stop at your normal sundries. We sell materia too. Bottom. Uh, and yeah, that has the amphidex and the fried flower. Okay, so we can't do the chocobo jockey one. 
Unless we want to go back to the Golden Saucer. Okay. Can you play with Oscar? All right. However, we do have the. So you, you want to go? Let's try the keep going one. with the replace one. Oh no, the Ifrit one. The Ifrit buff deck. All right. Two crystal and crabs. Two ignalisk. Two amphidex, which is there on the right side. Which what does that even do? The first time this card is enhanced, raise the power of ally cards on effect tiles by three. Ah, so you want to buff that one. Uh the Chocobo Moogle. Haunted Hotel. I don't know what that one does either. Raise the power of ally cards on effect tile by two while this card is in play. Dang, that's a lot. Uh, a Zemzalet. Middle. Two Sholopods. Titan, Ifrit, and two Griffin. Okay, I know where you get the Griffin by beating someone in Gongaga. Doesn't say who. Oh wait, no, it says you beat Oscar. <laughs> You're shitting me! <laughs> We're trying to make a deck and the one co Oh, there it is! D yeah, I know! D God damn it. Well, we did we just have, get the to... flower for the other one. We have to brew force it. Well, no, we have the replace one. I didn't finish going through that. But before we start making it, let me make sure we have it. Red flower we just got. Our... Don't have that one. Never mind. We can't get stuff from the replace deck because it has stuff from Costa del Sol, which we didn't. So... Let her rip! Just... Wait, oh wait, we got the Tom Berry King. We still might not be able to do it. Far in chapter 10, so nope. Heck is a... But hey, we can make the different one once we beat this bird. <laughs> Don't have cap on our... You can put the death wheel down at the bottom and that might kill the, might kill the chocobo. Or not the chocobo, the arc dragon. That was ah, not a smart play. Mind player um Hey that top one is green. Wait, do the toxic right up top? Oh wait, that's a one. Fuck!
And look, it's the chicken. Oh, wait. Put the zoo in the middle. I can't. Yes, it's a two. No. Oh. All right. Un Shit. Remember, he has to replace shit. Oh, sh <laughs> he replaced the cock and he can do the effects again. We can't let yeah. that happen. Yeah. About this. Wait. Now you. Okay. After that, you can put the tox around up top and in the middle. Or. Nah, I have to do tox right first. Or wait. Or you can do the. Uh... Put the mind flare down there. Oh, he passed. Now you can put the tox right up top, or wait, no, put the tox right in the middle. That is yours. Half a wire. There we go. This is my perfect victory! Take that, you fucking Take chocobo! That bird. <laughs> Take that, Oscar. Give me your bird! Give me that bird! Holy crap. Give me that. Okay. Now then. This is the first time I've ever seen Oscar lose. Didn't expect that. <laughs> Seems like he's a little bitter. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for indulging him. He can make it a lot harder for us to do our jobs when he's in the mood. Really, believe it or not, he's gonna make his television debut soon. He'll be up against a dog that plays Queen's Blood. And we have to make also sure be. he wins to help drive up tourism here. <laughs> They're referring to the dog in North Corral. Which we also beat. Okay, so now we can make the Ifrit buff deck. Oh, you saved it. Yeah, now just two of the Griffins. Wherever it is. Okay, and yeah, basically, the main focus of this... Uh... You want to try and have Haunted Hotel and or the Chocobo and Moogle in your first hand. And then basically try and get as many... You want to push lanes early to try and get as many spaces before finally buffing everything. Oh, hey. And it even has a suggested combo, which is Haunted Hotel, Titan, Shoulder Pud. I guess... That's something. And we're still looking for Aerith and Yuf Yuffie and Barrett. Yuffie, I'm pretty sure, is... Alright, she ran straight for the house. And we'll do that after we find everybody. This yep. Hey there. Good to see you again. Since you're here, mind if I snap a pic of a fun guy with some fun guy? Oh. What pose is he doing now? What the fuck, Cloud? Eto, please. <laughs> No man's land. Oh. oh, here's Barrett. There's Yuffie. Once things settle down, I can see myself moving out here, living off the land. Be a nice change of pace. <laughs> Just me, Marlene, and our little piece of paradise. <laughs> Wonder what kind of stuff we'd end up growing. Mushrooms. What? Because it's our lucky food? Don't tell me you believe that mumbo-jumbo. 
Still, you might be onto something. Gungaga mushroom farming sounds like a license to print gear. <laughs> Okay, so we found Yuffie. Haven't talked to Yuffie yet. Don't forget to try some of our but now we gotta find Aerith. We're not only responsible for keeping peace. Stick to the paths, okay? Healthy. Also talk to Chatley. Why, hello, Cloud. Did you enjoy your buggy ride? The tires are reinforced to provide traction in even the most slippery of sands which means you can explore the dunes at your leisure. This also means you can gather more detailed intel about the desert for me. Why, how long is he... Have Kujata. One, two, three, four, five. I think almost every region gives you five. Also, I just thought of something. And... Oh, yeah. Petrify. Oh, yeah. I remember this. Quake. If I'm correct, Quake can hit the things underground. I may be wrong about that. Oh. <laughs> I saw something where Quake was apparently really good at something. I yeah, I thought of something. In our in the de in the desert in the Corel, we got a combat simulator that had us fighting the mind flayer. I think mm -hmm. we'll get a combat simulator here that involves the Tonberry King. Okay, that's up there. Dog. We gonna be playing with cows, watching. Come now, that's enough. Can't you see you're scaring the poor man? Sorry for all that. It doesn't take much for them to get worked up. I'm Jijun, a farmer. I should be hard at work, but my back's forcing me to take a break for a short while. Oh, do you play Queen's Blood by chance? A game would help to pass the time. Oh, that reminds me. Sitting around soaking up the sun is all well and good, but at this rate, it's liable to put me to sleep. All right, let's see. He Marlboro or Great Marlboro. When played, lower the power of allied and enemy cards on affected tiles by six. Well, let's give this deck a spin, shall we? Yeah, seems like you want to try. The suggested hand has Haunted Hotel, Titan, and Sholopod. But another recommendation is having the Chokebone Moogle in there. Eh, whatever. Go. Oh, let's see. Chokebone Moogle gets buffed every time. A card gets buffed. Amphidex gets buffed. Buffs whatever's in front. Oh, so if you put Amphidex down there... Oh, wait. I was gonna say, if you put Amphidex down there, it will buff the Chocobo when you buff it. But I... We have to find some... Buff it... thing. You could make that one to the right of it, too. There goes that plan. So yeah, I do remember it says this deck you want to try and go for spaces first before anything else. I'd say put the amphidex in the middle. Oh wait, that doesn't do anything.
Wait, the Ignis could buff the Infidex? That would mean space is. Oh, now you show up. Hey, nine, nine, nine. And that's game. Nine, nine, nine. <laughs> Twenty seven. <laughs> nine, 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 nine. <laughs> Well, um, have you ever heard of Dickers the Cow? No. It is a it is a cow, and it is real. This is not a photo. What I'm about to send you is not a Photoshop picture of a cow that was so big, or technically a steer that was so big it couldn't be killed. One of those professional racing chocobos. So is that how all you young folk play these days? <sighs> Queen's blood sure has changed. Us old timers can't keep up anymore. Mm. But you know, that's exactly the way it You're just completely do. tuning him out by not even You're better him. off harnessing that energy. While you've still got enough to live life to the fullest. You can sit and relax to your heart's content when you get older and your back starts giving you no say in the matter. That's why you should spend your youth getting up to all kinds of mischief. <laughs> if you ever tire yourself out, though, I'll be here with my cards. A little downtime can do a body good. Yeah, look at Discord real quick. That picture is real. Big fucking cow. Indeed. It was so big it couldn't even, it couldn't fit in the machine that they used to kill cows. <laughs> so they couldn't kill it. Oh, there's air. Oh, but that's where we want to go. So let's go and talk to Yuffie. Oh. Yo. Yeah, we have to miss some miss chocolate a couple. Stops. Yeah. But how? Yeah. Now we go up good. Aww. She's so sleepy. Speaking of sleepy. I am so, so bored. Bored right out of my brain. If I don't die first, that y'all go <laughs> insane. Wait till she stops talking. I've got nothing else to do. I'm stuck here wasting time. <laughs> of course she's singing about material. And she's just done. she was just singing her uh her uh I am so so bored. Oh that's lit that's her theme. I'd love an encore, nice song, funny too. Nice song, funny too. Wrote it yourself. <laughs> Finally, someone recognizes my genius. Indeed, the amazing Yuffie is also a top-tier lyricist. Oh, I've got another song. Want to hear it? Sure. Here goes. Oh dear. <laughs> I'll serve. 
search high and low till I gather. And it's another material song. I'll have orbs piled up about a bit. Is she still doing it in her theme? Yeah. I just now imagined. Oh wait. Yeah, I just now imagined. You know the whole thing with Scrooge McDuck. I just imagined that, but Yuffie and Materia. Oh, bird, bird of, of prey. prey for Yuffie. I also See just realized I I'm kind of sad. They they changed the music. It's not not the Crisis Core music anymore. Which I don't uh, mind. Uh, what's so what did, what weapon we just get for Yuffie? Uh, Bird of Prey. Doppelganger. I just saw yourself temporarily mimics your... Fireborn. Oh, I remember this! I remember reading about so this. So that's what this is. I saw a thing where apparently, if you use this, if you use Doppelganger inside of Arcane Ward, you can fire four magics. <laughs> so if you stick Yuffie in an arcane ward, you can actually obliterate something with magic. Um, time. Oh wait, do you think this is Zach's house? Or his parents? Zach's parents' house, yeah. This did say Aerith's acquaintances. Oh, Cloud. Friend of yours? Come in. Please. Mm -hmm. Your eyes. You're a soldier, aren't you? Uh, was. You wouldn't happen to know our son, would you? That's a yes. So, Zach's name right? is half complete. Fine. What did you say his name was? Zach. Zach Fair. God damn it, it's playing the music again. Zach? Sorry. No. Our son just up and left one day, determined to chase his dreams. At first, he wrote us all the time, but... When I first saw you, I thought, maybe this is the girl he was always talking about. Sorry if I made you feel uncomfortable. I doubt I was the only woman in his life. A charming guy like Zack. Wherever he is, Does I hope he's enjoying Cloud himself at least. Learn. I do say no news is good news, right? The whole Zack stuff sure before Aerith dies in the original, or that Sorry. after? If you do happen to see Zack, would you tell him after. you miss him? And uh, please get in touch. Of course I will. God, this sucks though, because she knows he's dead. We should probably be heading back, don't you think? What? Already? At least have something to eat before you go. Thanks, but we don't want to keep our friends waiting. <laughs> Another time, then. <laughs> then. Oh, and now you can talk to Eris for her. Sorry. Every time someone says they're from Midgar, we can't help but hope that person knows our son. A couple of bumpkins like us often forget it's a big city. Sorry. A couple of bumpkins like us often forget it's a big city. All this talk of another war has me worried. But I know I'm not the only mother. So, her son. why did they say Sephiroth? 
killed in action, yet nothing for Zack. I mean, Zack wasn't really well known. Unlike, Fair. I mean, Zack had a full on. Hey. At least with Genesis and Jill and Sephiroth, they had yeah. full on. Wasn't very nice of me. You remember me telling you about Zack, right? At the playground? How he was my first love? We didn't yeah. get this scene, did we? Yeah, we did. We got Tifa's, I thought. This is where he grew up. No, in the no, playground, no, not in our oh. garden. So when I saw someone who looked like him, I don't know. I had to say something. Didn't even occur to me to think how they would feel about it. Pretty selfish, huh? Waltzing in there, stirring up memories. I don't know. They didn't seem to mind. Sure they did. But thanks. So, this Zack guy. You still like him? Wow. You went there, huh? <laughs> Maybe. He's never given me a reason not to. And here's Tifa. Oh, so she told T about this. Leaving you out in the cold like this? Forget about that loser. How dare you, sir? Hmm? He's a soldier, right? Then I hate to break it to you. But if he's been gone this long, the man is dead. Cloud? The hell, man. Actually, what the Good. hell? Sorry. Good. PTSD stopped him. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Fuck you. Well, that clears that up. He definitely doesn't know who Zack is. PTSD is like, shut your ass up before you do something you regret. Another time. I wanna, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda wanna punch the shit out of his face. Okay, like, so... dude, she, she's grieving, <laughs> why you go say, uh, yeah, no, he did. Or, forget about him, like, like, dude. Yeah. Oh, how I can't wait for this asshole to get back his memories. Indeed. That was kinda fucked up. It was! Like that, like, I don't know, that felt a little too out of character for, or maybe he was just mainly doing it because he wants, he's that desperate for Aerith. I don't think he's desperate for anyone, except maybe Tifa. This is the same guy who stuttered when Yuffie asked if, would, what about multiple Tifas, and he's like, uh. Yeah. I am so, so there she goes again. Can they please make this in the uh, the, uh, the uh, soundtrack? Just a short, like, 45 second thing of you being No, like, imagine if they, imagine they actually make a full ass song. Just sung by Yuffie. Because her theme, she has an actual theme that's longer than this. Don't yeah. She? Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 It's that, it, All right. that that's her theme. Oh, so you can either rest. Wait a minute. Oh I know that's what you are. No, so that said level thirty-three, why? Alright. 
Well, that shit's about to hit the fan. Hard. Three hours later. Damn. You light sleeper. It's coming from the reactor. We gotta check it out. Oh boy. I did see what? someone saying reactor noise while you were walking through town. Yeah, they were saying like the animals were getting stirred up, probably from the noises probably. coming from the reactor. Maybe a I... weapon? Maybe? Maybe we see another weapon, yes. Oh, that reminds me. Stop for a moment. I had a I had a question I wanted to ask you. You know you know the whole thing with the weapons, how like, oh, they only appear when the planet is in danger and shit. Yeah. If they were, if we the weapons were real in real life, do you think they'd be here by now? <laughs> or do in you think real, we haven't gotten that in, far? In real danger? In real no. in real life, you don't think the planet is that far gone yet we're that not, something we're not far would... gone yet. You hear that? Yeah, it's gotta be a weapon. Well, even they say it. But what weapon? My guess, Emerald. Wait, do you know something about this? Could say that, yeah. You've been hearing it for a while. For a few days now, yeah. The Coalition tried to investigate, but... Some creatures kept us from getting into the reactor. So all they did was fly around. Just the sight of those weird black wisps was enough. Black wisps, eh? That's something. You could see them. Uh, yeah, of course. Why? Do you know what they are? So, the whispers are not completely gone. Well, this just got but rather, Sephiroth kind of just broke the barrier. When do we leave? Like yeah. The, the big, big barrier. You know damn well. Real team <laughs> Keep an eye on her for us. Well, guess we won't be using that new weapon for a bit. Let's just get in, take a look, and get out. But we knew the whispers weren't gone. We saw in the trailer they were behind yeah. Harris. Agreed. Which scares me. It scares me so much. Hey. Oh yeah, apparently. I told you what happens to Sapphire in the original seven, right? Gets fucking one shotted by the Junon cannon. <laughs> yes, it it comes out of the water in front of Junon. Junon roars and get a gets a cannon to the face. Apparently. You fight the emerald weapon underwater yeah, in, in the crater where it fell. Mm -hmm. And everyone has agree unanimously or universally agreed that is the hardest boss in Final I Fantasy VII. That. I also saw a, theor a theory that I think someone proved was true in Original Seven. Which was? The soldiers from Junon are the submarine crew. Road to the reactor. I think they it. said that. I think they said that in OG7, the soldiers from Junon are also your submarine crew. So, if that's true, we gonna be seeing those guys again. <laughs> Probably not in this game. Come again? What's up, Westbar? When it's at all. An arbiter of fate. They appear when destiny is about to be off. Can you stop moving? How about this? I don't run. That's what you get for being curious. Shut the fuck up, you're a cat. Oops. Oh wait, it says. Gagahandi. Oh, Gagi Kandi. Carnivorous creatures found in forested regions. Their vicious appearance belies a startling amount of patience as they are capable of biding their time for hours on end and awaiting the perfect opportunity to ambush prey. Hitting them with powerful offensive abilities while they are waiting to ambush prey will pressure them. Okay, also, you're slowly being hit with Petrify. I hope you know that. Not bad. 
Okay, Let's um... Go. Quickly go to the enemy intel. And fine, go... Ag... Got its name. Gigatris. Oh, it's down there. Okay, yeah, minus the head, that is very similar to the designs of behemoths in 14. But yeah, like, look at the stats they give. Hey. Okay. Titan gives more defense, Alexander and Vitality, Alexander. Back and strength. Alexander. Holy. Vitality, spirit. Red seems like he'd want more defense. But yeah, it seems like Ramu is good for Earth because it gives a lot of magic. That actually makes sense for the Wu Tai player, Wu Tai character to have Leviathan. The god of Wu Tai, yes. Fitting. Which does make me wonder what are they gonna do in the third part when we go to Wu Tai? We already have Leviathan. Actually, wait. Open the menu for a sec. Go to... Or, sorry, the map, I meant. Go to quests. There's only Where... six. No. I wonder when we'll get the Jokobo. I thought maybe that was... A side quest that would give us the joke, bro. Well, so far, only one chocobo has been locked behind side quests, and that's the Hunan on one. Then again, that quest also came from the chocobo. We've already assessed these things. Sure. <laughs> First rope we've had on the tower. I like how there's a limit for where Cloud's able to jump off. It's like, yes, I'm a super soldier, but I'm not crazy. I may be a, be a soldier, but I can still break my ankles if it is high. Man, 
that was uh, I, I don't know if Pocho's still here. Now we have areas where. Well, this is the proto relic. No. Oh. All the way down there. But we'll get to that. I'm assuming we won't be able to get the Corel proto relic until the story takes us back to the gold saucer. Yep. people that have been able to see these things so far have been the main the party, team. Rufus, and Cisne. Didn't Ho wasn't Hojo able to see them? Oh yeah, well, I don't, I don't know. Maybe he might have just been freaking out because he was being carried away by thin air. <laughs> we could never really tell because the only time he interacted with them was when they were literally dragging him. So, he yeah, might have looked, just been it, like, it looked, fascinating, he, something is dragging me. But he kind of knew about the whole Sephiroth thing, because that's his theory of what's going on. Fair enough. So, so yeah, Rufus, could... Cisne, the party, and possibly Hojo. Chocos of the world, each re Oh, wait. Note that some region Chocos may require you to complete certain odd jobs or progress in the story before you can run. Okay, so we, uh... I wasn't even worried you were able to push that button. I saw it on my res- I saw it on my, uh, corner, I was like, I guess I could call for one. Whoa. Hard on those water grab things. Should you come down here? All I want to know is, I want to see, I want to see what Ruby looks like. Because Ruby in both 14 and, from what I've seen, original seven was weird looking. It had long ass claws on its hands. Oh well, yeah, I just remembered a thing I saw. You know Wolverine, obviously. The X-Men? Yes. Okay. Can he retract and extend his claws selectively, or is it always all three of them? No, like he can, select can... selectively. He's done the middle finger okay. with his claws. Okay, I saw a clip that appeared to be that, and I was like, huh, is that they, they an edit, or has they, he done it? They did that in the first X-Men movie. Cyclops basically, like, chuckled at him getting stuck, and then when he got his claw and stuck, he just left the middle claw out. Yeah, that's the clip I saw. I also saw a clip- I also saw a gif from apparently the old- old X-Men show that just showed Wolverine running up and punching Cyclops in the gut. Someone said the context was Cyclops left people behind and Wolverine did not care for that. Alright, here we All right. go. Alright, Reactor. Reminds me of the city in near Automata. See way in. 
the bench. And no, not as we know them. They didn't have a glowing ball there. Oh. Those That's whispers controlled good. by him. Let's follow him. Come on. Possibly. Like this, you know, well, we I got a bench. Oh. Dies above Gongaga. Relnika. We must no, be close hello. by now. Darn How much longer? We expect to arrive within the hour. <laughs> what is then this? Then I better choose a suitable toy. Will that be necessary, ma'am? Of course it will. What? Well, we already I'm fought sure that one. That it is. Oh, that's the same one? I thought it was an upgrade. Wow, okay, no, they actually nerfed her. What the hell? Her chest? Yeah, they censored her. How? How'd they censor it was, her? It was, it was bigger in the first in remake. Oh. American censorship. <laughs> Let's just be, there is... As I said, uh, I think either earlier or yesterday, there is a group of Yu-Gi-Oh cards of alternate art and some unique Yu-Gi-Oh cards made by the creator of Yu-Gi-Oh himself that will probably never be released in America because he refused to censor them. So they, he will not let them be printed without unless they're uncensored, which pansy Americans will never allow. And I'm pretty sure the main reason is because the Dark Magician Girl one has a five-pointed star on it. Not even upside-down one, just normal five-pointed star. And yeah, like I told you, there are a few, I'm pretty sure, there are a few Yu-Gi-Oh cards where they were censored by just increasing the length of their shorts by a few inches. Okay, no, we don't want to... Let's not follow them, so go back. Not go that way just yet. Aha! Aha! And... Crystal Sword! the hell did we get a did we just get a cybertron sword let's see infinity's end it's back boys <laughs> the old mr overkill is back increased damage <laughs> on stagger cost two atb and damn what a nice blade i'm gonna quickly use the rush here. <laughs> this looks like it. oh wait
Welcome back. Alright, sorry. Welcome back. Uh, go back to the sword for a second. Well, after uh, you do this. Crit. crit rate, crit damage, ability crit rate, attack power, magic attack power, or weapon ability damage. Yeah, go back to the weapon. Like where you're selecting the weapon. Uh, okay, then. Look a kind of, tiny bit like a few of the holy swords. Oh, Alright. Let's go. And in order to. You have to hit a staggered enemy. So they went l left, let's go right. And straight. Well, straight is nothing. Left it is. What? So. Frank Galan. Oh my god, I don't have a assess on this. Wait, does Barret still have it or...? I don't think so. Nope. Well, shit. Don't have it on kids yet. Well, you can use Infinity's End on this thing. Don't do it. Fuck you, Barret! They kind of. And it's gonna die before you do it. Might as well use Infinity Bend. But they ain't going five long enough. Look staggered. Okay, that was kind of cool. Cloud backflipping through the air. It looked like that last one got flung into the sword and died. Okay, give this man a cess. Uh, no way. Hold on. I think Red should still have it. Combat settings. Okay, put someone in this team. Current cannot currently change party. Oh wait, wait. Red, that one of those yellow sh Yep. There we go. Problem solved. How, how far along is Infinity Edge? Probably not very far. Not that far. Yeah, Sapphire. Sapphire. This is still such a cool blade. Yeah. Quotes. Whispers. Uh, there's only so much swimming a cat can take. It's just a little water. Does everything always have to be such a pain in the ass? <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't even up with us when he said that shit. I would have loved to see what the, what what they had said have said if one of them had been talking about stairs. Okay, now these are amphidexes. You don't need to test them again. To murder them to you. And infinity! They made the... The explosion wasn't pink. That might just be with the blade. Is the little fox also, awake. Remember, if it feels like so if we if it feels like some story so, uh, specific is gonna have him switch the blade back to the Buster Sword, or like if we're about to get to the boss, 
Thank you. <laughs> Yep. Oh. Nibelheim reactor had the cleaning things. This has this. Oh. I'll be able to stagger these things without killing them. That's a no. Don't stop now. You're digging up enough. Never mind. And you wow. So oh, you can switch back to the Buster Sword now. I love oh. how Maximum Fury launches everything. <laughs> Right. But yeah, oh, I, I was like, I was like, okay, let me just switch Barrett, switch to man with or the gun. Let me switch. Yeah, let me switch to the man who's just auto locking on the thing I'm sh already beating the shit out of. And uh, Fudge have his assess back. Yeah, no, he does. Okay, did they go straight forward or did they go? I did not see. Open the map. Well, based on where this thing is showing, that also way, the probably. fact that this is a dead end. Yes. Three canisters of hazardous material. Ah, yes. Running around with more toxic waste. Oregano. Just have straight oregano. <laughs> I wouldn't trust any plants that grow ocean here. Yeah. Probably shouldn't be swimming in here. Then again, uh. What? Oh, these! We assess these things. Well, your attacks are doing jack shit. All right, assess. Grand Horn. Bipedal creatures found in forested regions. Sociable by nature, they tend to live in distinct groups. They scoop up rocks with their huge claws and hurl them at outsiders. Attacking them twice while they are guarding will cause them to counterattack. Hitting them with powerful offense abilities while they are guarding or counterattacking will pressure them. Okay, so save up an ATB or so. Oh boy. Save up an ATB or something when they garden. Also, maybe long man. I had a free item, a power item. Maximum jury! What the heck? Or like in that case, why use focus shot instead of maximum jury? And finish them off quick there. Oh, wait, no, you can go. Oh, that answers where we go. Oh, boy. There it goes. So, Cloud's the only one seeing Sephiroth. Yeah. These guys don't see shit. Alright, well, that's asking us to go over there. However, we were given the option to go down the There was a down ladder. ladder. Yes. Stage arm bat. Surely this is driving more. 
not appear to be that. Why well, have more than one ladder? No, because there was a side ladder right here. Yeah. But that's going, okay. Oh, maybe maybe we're gonna lower the water down there, and we'll be able to go back and climb even further down the ladder. Yep, I saw it. <laughs> Frog spotted like, hello! Oh! <laughs> well, he dead. Into the mock yep. reactor with you, peasant. Comes out as a greatly Godzilla, but a frog. <laughs> How do we get over here? I'm assuming through that door. That vent. That. Okay, so down there is where it wants us. Down the stairs is where it wants us to go. Let's not go there. Search for. I wonder. What... Yeah, I'm pretty sure going that way. Is how we get the chip. So before connecting anything. I think what's gonna happen though is that. Oh, we're well, you had to pull those over. But yeah, I'm pretty oh, sure if well. we jump down, we. I don't think we're forced to instantly go over there. I'll just get it right now. It's not that big a deal. Yeah, I'll just remake the climb. Alright. This what weapon we belongs now. to. Oh. Red. Another Golden red. Golden collar. What do we got? Watcher's respite. Watcher's respite. Leads the vengeance Delete. gauge to heal allies. Potency proportional to amount expended. Efficiency bonus, activate when the Vengeance Gauge is full, which you rarely ever get to. Just because I rarely ever play him. Well, even when you have, you don't wait for it to be full. Use it. Have you done anything with that time material? Uh, yeah, haste. Oh, well, vengeance charge right up. We need that to get... No, you can't jump and run. Can't jump down that way. Shit. No well, choice. nice, nice to. Oh, wait a minute. Aha! Stealth. Yep. Stealth one hundred. Okay, that was weird. Yeah, cloud Tip. just. Swim into something three times to make sure it's there before climbing. <laughs> make sure it's solid. Uh, I hit my head on this thing. Better do it a few more times. Just make sure I'm not seeing the thing. Green, 
Yeah, you're right. Now, what happens if we go back out there and look at the frogs back? Yeah, I don't think you're going to make it to full vengeance, so... Yeah, oh. I don't... I didn't really love no way. anything. Majorly right. Oh, it 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 right it, oh, it rose it up. Well, yeah, but I was saying, did it lower the water back over there? Like back where those ladders were and whatnot that we were confused about. Go find out very quickly. Uh, nope, it raised the water level for everything. Gentlemen. So yeah, we Honest. can't go back there. Okay, stop for a second. Maybe. But he's back now. And you'll be seeing him soon enough. Lest we adventure along, we get stranger by the man. Okay, so Reeves was not told about. But... Oh, hey, you can assess these things. And get Red's thing up afterwards. Yes. Rangalan. Egg-like creatures that live in forested regions. They reproduce asexually by consuming minerals and mako. The offspring born in this way will give their lives to defend their parents. Oh, so they're suicide bombers. Inflict enough, da inflict enough damage will cause them to produce a Grangulon Junior. Further attacks will pressure them. Shit, do we have to assess the Junior as well? Oh, there's a junior. Red has a cess, right? Oh, yeah, we do. So quickly assess that before you kill it. Granglan Junior, the offspring of a Granglan who will in turn produce babies of their own and continue the circle of life. Flick enough damage will pressure them. Please tell me there's not something after. Wait. Oh, vengeance mode ain't even rising because you ain't blocking and shit. They fucking attack. <laughs> Wait, so op open the. Or, yeah, yeah, baby Granglen. You do have to assess these last ones. Uh, okay, well, assess with Cloud. And do watch her go by with it. Oh, wait, that only costs one. Assess before you kill anything. <laughs> the baby. The offspring of a Grangland Jr. Unable to reproduce, it is the last of its lineage. When its HP falls below a certain point, it will approach and self-destruct, damaging anything in range. Hitting it with powerful offensive abilities will cause it to fly backwards and then self-destruct. Okay, you may now hit Infanticide.
then you might as well use that healing thing. I don't think you're going to get another, so you might as well just heal again. You could just let it break that thing if you felt like it, but... So, how close are we to maxing Red's thing? My guess, probably 15. Well, you can check, and also I want to see some. Well, never mind. Oh. Uh, well. oh. Actually closer. But depending on what's about to happen, we might want to switch this. Depending on what that vending machine gives to us. <laughs> the version material. Also shit, I just realized something. Mm. By either of you up, yep. Switch it back to his normal color. Or, or, big brain. Don't use him? No. If we rest. What? And then head back to that room. Oh, and do it again. They the active enemy to respawn. Yeah. And if not, we can keep going, can't we? Uh, you can just keep going back to the other room. Yeah, props to an open world game. Okay. Of course, the only enemies we can fight are climbing up to the frogs or these things. You're more likely to get max vengeance from these things. I'll deal with that. You ready? Give them hell! Assuming they attack you. You'll pay for that. Okay, this ain't working. I think if you should just uh, get one just bar and get the music. Oh, is he real dog? Oh, wait, he has vengeance mode right now. Uh oh. You were blocking. Yeah, you like got nothing from that. You should be able to get one more ATB bar off this thing. This whole common thing just said blocking and not perfect blocking, right? Yeah. But they're hitting me with, a, like, actual attacks. Like... Unblockable that, attacks. And, and, yeah, they're unblockable. Alright, well, just heal one last time. I guess we can make that Oh, there we are. Well, well, he did him. Okay, so you can give him back his normal color. Go rest again. And then 
fight whatever we about to fight. Fight or just see a cutscene. Would not give you a phoenix feather, a phoenix down in the vending machine if you were not about to be attacked by something. <laughs> well, I mean, we saw Scarlet, so who knows? Maybe we'll be fighting her. That did say That's skies both Gongaga. That's the case. That's you the case. I wish you two was here. Yeah. Wish you two was here. All right. HP and MP fully restored. Let's go, gentlemen. The shadows beckon. Kate Seth. You see in this? Since the plane went offline, the whole place has been filling up with Marco. Which means the planet ain't done. We were right to take out those reactors. I wouldn't go that far. Let's get to work. Too much Marco here. Don't see the weapon? Dropped a crane. Oh, they're gonna try and get the weapon out for Hojo. Okay, so she can see them. Or is she talking about them? No, she was talking about the whisper. What am I looking at? <laughs> Malga. Cut. That's this. Amalgam. Experimental specimens created by Shinra are indeed vision. Though originally human, countless cellular transplants from various poisonous plants and fungi have altered their genetic composition, turning them into monsters boasting impressive vitality. Inflicting fire damage will leave them open to attack. They will revive themselves up to... What? Two times have to be defeated unless they are burning. So unless you kill them while they're on fire, they will come back at least twice. And now they're praising God. Okay, so set him on fire. Now. That should have killed it. Yeah, now he's young. Let's set him on fire now. Yes, please come down here. Let me kick your ass. I have a hit woman who would like to. She's basically pissed off two people she shouldn't be pissing off in this party. Alright. Oh, how appropriate. Fire. Cloud's a perfect man for the job. This. What the fuck? Where are you getting these? What the shit? What? Of course. What the hell is that? What am I looking at? Specimen H1024. Marco Expulsion. SS. 
monstrosity created by Shinra's R&D division. Although this mako-chugging creature miraculously survived Fesher Hojo's experiments, it has taken on a vile new appearance nigh unrecognizable from its former self. Strengthens itself by ingesting Mako, then unleashes a powerful attack after a certain amount of time has passed. Inflicting enough damage after Mako ingestion will both interrupt and sub interrupt the subsequent attack and pressure it. Okay, so when it starts sucking down Mako, pile on the thing. Case in point. So you basically want to just do as much damage as you can right now. And it's pressured. All right. I will back away. Switch off the cloud. Lock of gesture round two. That was actually a good <laughs> idea. Yeah, that just yeah. saved his ass. Teleport cloud out of harm's way. Oh, Marga shot again. And you have full vengeance mode. Don't overdo it. Wow, and that bravery didn't win it. We got him pressured. You got the thunder your ass. Should stagger it. Uh, you could, I would use the healing. Oh wait, you had no vent. Oh, never mind. I'd use like a mist something. Come on. I just thought I was gonna have an idiot. Dog assault tore over fine. Getting like flashbacks to Mako poison, or is it just probably? Or he's probably still sensitive to it. Then technically didn't get medical attention to get rid of said Mako poison thing. He just sweat it out. Oh dear. Got 
I mean, that's what you were trying to prevent with damage, maybe. Oh, Cloud. Everyone needs the help. Howling Moon. It staggered. End it now! Yeah. Oh, I see that new, the new fucking dodge backwards. Weapon? Before you blew. Why did you dodge backwards before going I, into it? Why not dodge forward? Because I wanted to go midair and do <laughs> final, final attack. Yeah, but, but why dodge backwards before doing that? Why not dodge towards it and then fly into it? Because it's. Oh. Right. Nope. Whispers. Why you bother shooting it? Let me help. No. Yeah, I. Oh boy. Alright, here she comes. Did this thing get jetpacked? It did! Yeah, I don't think the whispers gonna allow that. Let me guess, it's switching to the girls now. Holy yep! <laughs> you be gonna see Scarlet after all? Oh, now we get in the choke close. Well, we can, uh, I'm assuming this is when we'll be able to use Yuffie's thing. Take the chocobos. <laughs> and this is how we use our chocobos. Yep. And just in case. And here's and her here's grapple Tifa gun. gets her grapple gun. We should help you get around. Yuffie don't need this! You need to be careful. Don't ask me why, but my gut is telling me that something big is about to go down. And more often than not, it's right. Don't worry. Whatever it is, we can handle it. You think we'll finally figure out what her fucking name is? Oh, what Cisne's actual name is? Yeah. Oh yeah, but... Alright. Gungaga's Jungle Chocobos. Chocobos native to this region can bound great distances off large mushrooms, as well as slide along certain tree branches. Oh god, we can beat Tarzan. Tarzan. <laughs> 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 Use the mushrooms marked with that to reach the reactor. Also, you might want to switch. You, well, actually, do you think when we get there we'll actually fight with these guys, or do you think we'll just go straight to a boss fight? Because you might want to switch to Yuffie's weapon. Start getting that done. Damn, you go far with these. Hey. I do want to know why they made it so you automatically pick up stuff in the buggy, but not the chocobos. Oh, hey, a cash. And there's the chest. Then get off. Yes, you can. Sorry, oh, Cloud and Barrett. We got chest to find. The, girl. <laughs> the girls gotta get rich. And the other one should be fairly close by. Way up there. Um, 
how you get up there. Or maybe to the right. I do hate how it doesn't tell you how big. Okay. Yeah, anything over there? I have to be able to get up there somehow. Bring me back to this at some point. Yeah, it has to be up there. So. Wait. Ah, then where are we going? Ah! Dang, not this one. Ah, uh, I doubt we can just straight up jump to that. Again, if it's not up there, where is it? Let's just fuck come back to this later. Damn it. Oh well. I'm just call a trouble bow. There she's right here. Oh god damn it, right here. We are idiots. <laughs> we are dumbasses. <laughs> like maybe it's we're, a we're checking awesome. Oh my god. We yeah, that choke was like and... broken or nothing. All right, switch Yuffie's weapon. It is. Yuffie already has her weapon. You already gave it to her. Oh. Yeah. There. And also, but before we do that, I gotta quickly use the restroom. All right, I'll do the same.
Hello? Back, you back? Yes, I am, and I brought a guest. And that is my cat. <laughs> this motherfucker. My guest. That that's our guest of honor. Poacher yeah. gets replaced with a cat. <laughs> when I wake when I wake her up in the next twenty minutes, she, I'm telling her. You got she got replaced for a cat for 20 minutes. Alright, I think. I didn't bring him in. You've got this. You won't Alright, now I forgot how UP's ability works. Oh, he's the doppelganger one. I forget how you can see it though. Uh, I just gotta eliminate someone while this is out. Well. Probably easiest if you just. Yeah. <laughs> you got Yeah, you got Right, doppelganger again. Wait a damn second. Right. I would do blunt, uh... <laughs> again? <laughs> do it again! <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh, they ain't dead yet. Oh. And weapon food bastard. This is hilarious. Now we switch as well. All right. Using the grappling gun. Look around for a place to make purchase, then press L2 to fire your grappling gun and quickly zip around the reactor. But first, Yuffie gets her full shuriken back. Oh god, that was amazing. <laughs> it was just... They were just getting flung by tornado after tornado. Main scenario. Rescue effort. So I assume now it's going to be these three against Scarlet. Or some combination without Cloud, because I. Well, looks like he's about to pass out. Said we're going up, girls, didn't it? Because we raised the water level. Mm -hmm. Can't I? Back to where we went, with boys. Now it's more flooded. We gotta swim across this room too, do we? Okay, no, we were supposed to come here. Just now they can get across because of the grapple guns. Somehow. And there's probably a weapon for Tifa or Aerith. Yep, yep. There. Well, let's see. Tiger Fang. Tiger Fang. All right, what do we got? Chi Trap. All right, another. Ah, Chi Trap's back. And I always love using this with Star Strike or Star Shower just because they were basically yeah. stuck and could not do anything. And all you have to do is. Use it and then hit someone. Use G trap. Jump down over here. Best. Best. Hmm? Chest down there. Oh, I thought I thought that was part of the.
Oh, are we just gonna ignore those things? Okay, that's where we continue. Anything over here? Out here, so no. I ah. Alright, you might want to heal too, good? That she trap fucked them up. She already has her limits! <laughs> <laughs> and triple kill! Oh my god! god. Did I just that one of... she tra That one she trap on three enemies just gave her insta limit. And instant proficiency. <laughs> like, hey, here's a weapon. Okay, punches one person with it. Thanks. Oh, why don't you put she trap on this thing? Just stops it from giving birth and juggles it. It is being juggled. Did you see that it was just bouncing on the cheat trap? It will never not be funny seeing that damn frog juggle or get launched. Oh. Uh, hmm. Hey, was that something else down there? No. Oh, there's not something on that platform over there, or that one over there. So we found a weapon for Cloud and a weapon for Red. We sh you think we gonna find a weapon for Aerith in here, or you think he's just... Uh, he trap. See, now they're stuck. Watch out. Uh, they're staggered. Oh goody, it's you. This thing don't move very much. <laughs> it's just, it just keeps getting knocked out of its own attacks. She trapped monster on big enemies. Jeez, are we sure she trap isn't just goaded in general? Well, yeah, if you use it on something small, something fast, it ain't gonna stay in it. Or at least in Remake, it didn't. Yeah, Aerith, just don't use the ladder at all. Sure. When she even put it down, she looked so disappointed, like, oh. Really? Congratulations on breaking this barely held together metal box. You found a grenade! <laughs> I just realized. Oh, Just realize I'll wait. It. I'll wait till this garlic fight before I say it. Don't want to jinx anything. Yeah. Fuck it, I'll say it. Um, I just realized it says the Amphidex is like turning their opponents into frogs. That has yet to happen. And if in your next fight with them you turn into frog, it's my fault. Well, we know how we're getting down.
Oh, we should straight up pushing it. Cable way more closer. And there was nothing up here, so straight downward. Down. Thing down here. That fire. Oh, we can hear the helicopters. Whatever they called that thing. Oh, wait, this is a helicopter. All right, time for some more uh, hickory. Sorcerer Storm. <laughs> that one dude. He was like, oh. He was like, oh. What's happening? I wear a signing up for this. Who am I? Where am I? How am I? We're not done yet, coming. motherfuckers. How long is it? I asked. That's a good question. We're still going. That's a damn good while. And remember, remember what I told you? If you do anything, if you cast a spell in Arcane Ward, it fires. It, you shoot four of them two from Yuffie and two from the clone. So I guess if you, for some reason, decide to run Yuffie and Aerith and turn Yuffie into a magic nuke, there's an option. What? Have we assessed these things? We have not, unfortunately. We don't have anyone. Well, we'll, uh, we'll most likely find it. Or bump. If not in here, we probably find them in the training thing. And Yuffie's probably the best thing for these things. Cause, or at least the flying one. The ice. The lightning. Yeah, I was gonna say. I was gonna say that was a missing place. Right. Come on, son. Who? It was a streamer. I think it was it Moist Crimson. Oh no, it was like screaming. Moist Import. It was a Moist Import. Calm yeah, down. Yeah, it's, it's Moist Crimson. Moist Crimson. <laughs> okay. Calm down. Calm what, down. What was that? It was a Moist Import. What was, what was that in response to? I don't know. It was something in Rainbow. I just remember. I forget what it was. I think it might have been a Star Rail meme video. <laughs> it was just a. It just cut to a clip of him. We could have given SS to one of them. After this fight, since again, I think these 
are gonna be the ones fighting Scarlet. Put a sass on one of these three. Probably. Uh. Whoever builds ATB the fastest, or whoever you're going to start the fight with, I guess, which is Tifa. I want to deal with Mr. Laser Sight up there. Congratulations! You still keep forgetting what Brumal Bomb actually does. I, I meant to do uh, literally anything else. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, oh, we got a bench. Oh, there's I'm willing to bet there's a willing to bet there's a phoenix down in that vending machine. <laughs> Everyone has 15. Are you good? Give them stuff. Yeah! Wait, SS. Yeah, I know. Yeah, does anyone even have any empty material spaces? No. You could probably get rid of Tifa's luck up material. She did have a Yo, okay, Yuffie on... does have. God damn it! Well, like I said, we'll run into the slugs again. Most definitely. Alright. Oh, but I, I... Before anything else. Go to Materia. Okay. Uh, give someone the revive Materia so you can start leveling it up. I thought Not necessarily one of these three. Wait, you gave someone the revive Materia? Nope. Oh, here we are. Shit aim. I was surprised Scarlet didn't hear her yell. Ag. She probably wouldn't care. Don't let that. Be sure she'd care. I don't even remember. Red's carrying the Buster Sword. There it is. Alright. Crimson Mare. Is that what it was called? Oh, Mark II. Is that what it was called in the original? Alright, assess. When you're not being assaulted. Crimson Mare Mark II. A modified version of the blood red battle armor designed for Scarlet's personal use. It is equipped with a state of the art weaponry, allowing for even more Saraju without sacrificing style. And yet, still no cockpit protection. <laughs> Destroying the weapons on both of its arms will allow you to target Scarlet. Knocking her out will pressure the battle armor. Like, again, even Lex Luthor has an invisible shield protecting his head. Why well, don't good. you? Well, that's because <laughs> Lex Luthor wants to, wants to let you know, yeah, that's right, you're getting beaten up by a fucking rich guy. And so does she, so why don't she have some form of protection? Even a clear she glass thinks, case. She thinks women have better morality and won't actually fucking fuck up. Probably pull out the double ganger. Yeah. 
No, Seems no, like no. everyone has. Well, actually, Tifa doesn't really. Seems like most of them have something you want to pull. You want to pull out immediately. Aerith is Radiant Ward. Well, um, Yuffie um, the Doppelganger. Strength. Cloud. Oh yeah, Cloud is Prime Mode. Barret the bonus shot. I don't know if Red has anything. Uh, I guess the crim uh, not Crimson Claws, the Frosty Claws. Oh uh, yeah, yes, that. You're really gonna do that? Arcane Ward. You're fine. Oh hey, Yuffie has little leaf on her. Uh, loading the doppelgangers up. Is she stuck? <laughs> I'm about to quick the shit out of her. <laughs> Damn it, she got free. Execution! Oh dear. I want to switch off a of Yuffie. No, they, al they always target your... Wait, did the clone just use an item? Uh, you don't have the familiar up. So you might want to go to the other ward if you want. Well. God damn it, Aerith Round dodged. 1. Probably should have dodged out the other way. Bandara, right hand. Goddamn hand! Do blind side. Tifa doesn't have any range set in it. Just do normal thunder. God, is that hand Confused. immortal? A confusion. And I have. Yeah. That works. Yeah, the fuck. Is it? Also, is my familiar electrified right now? It looks like that, right? Okay. Finally! I'd get back in the Radiant Ward. Bard, Sorcerer Storm. Hey, you can attack Scarlet now. Well, that attacks Scarlet. Oh, and remember, you can get in the air with Tifa. With her synergy or Gale kick. But not, don't matter anymore. Go! No, synergy ability, they are one of them. Aerith has two HP buttons. I don't think Cyclonic Kick will hit in time to extend her stagger. Nah. And that didn't hit at all. Now she's got a new arm. Doppelganger out again. Oh, and you have a synergy. Oh, but that's the stagger increase one. Yeah. 
did the radiant ward go away? Yeah, it did. Wards Thank went you. away right now. Oh. Uh, you could healing wind. Okay. Okay. Great work. But yeah, I'd have Yuffie cast Doppelganger. But yeah, her R1 and one of them should put her in the air. Or you not to refocus. Eh. Dolphin flurry! Yeah! And then the right hand's still going. Never mind. She's got a drill in hand. Oh, I should have targeted the hands, but okay. I'm Thunder God. Funny, because we also use him against her in the integrate fight. Indeed. I don't want to get that uh, Radiant Ward out. <laughs> or... Also, remember, you're currently immune to all physical attacks. At least you should be. Because of planet's protection. Yeah, for a little bit longer. Very reduced damage to those. I'm feeling you're just supposed to be surviving right now. Hmm? Uh, you think I shouldn't be surviving? No, I think she her her hands are taking extremely reduced damage right now. You're only hitting him for like 11 or something. Go on. Plank protection's gone. Oh dear. What the hell is this, Baymax? Like switch off of air. Because remember, remember, they, they target whoever you are playing at, so. Or they tend to. Wait, doesn't Aerith have Magnify on her heal, or did you keep take that away? I took it. No. It's fine, I have prayer though. Oh. Well, this probably won't do very much. It one shot too. <laughs> but no, you were doing like 10 or 11 damage Whoa, to the, that those was hands. 150! 150! What the fuck? Yeah, and it even says reduced. Oh wait, maybe it's saying re maybe it's reduced magic damage. For you. And no, it still says reduced even when no it. Okay, so she's taking reduced magic damage with her hands, but not physical.
But I think you want to attack with the hands of people. That's so stupid. Yeah, you beat more. Energy things. Yeah, I remember, outside of Radiant Ward, Aerith dodge is ass, and will likely never dodge anything. And of course. But now you can use Healing Wind! And Planet's Protection will never be used again in this fight. Also use... Does AOE? Yeah, it took reduced damage from that, yet it doesn't say reduced damage when Tifa's doing it. Oh, you can do Divine Punishment again. The question is, Come she here, still asshole! Still? Yes, she says still the same. Bam! The right arm's almost gone! Well, not once have you used Tifa's synergy skill to actually get airborne. Doppelganger out. Oh dear. Die, motherfucker. Oh, woman. Yeah! Except failure. Shit. Okay, no, it's it looks exactly the same. So I don't think these are ruby, sapphire, emerald. I think these are just general weapons. Uh, she's it, she has a panzer. <laughs> she just has a panzer in the suit. Yes, because that's the priority. That's the priority, yep. But yeah, no, I think these are just weapons in a general sense. I don't think they're the weapons. So we probably won't see the actual ones until part three. Hey, bitch! Ah, yes, the ever unobservant guards who don't notice this shit. Some well, have better guards. All oh, right, and this is where Tifa falls in with it. Oh 
always this is where he goes on, Neo. He's telling him to let go of his- Let go of your anchor! So what, Sephiroth the Emperor now? <laughs> yes, let the hate flow through you. you. Bug going Ultra Instinct. <laughs> Whoa. He's acting all smug. So Scarlet can see those also. Or probably feel them. Something like that. Oh shit! Oh, you pale man! Oh! Oh god, she's watching, bro. Yes. And death. Oh! Loud! Stop! That's enough. Yeah, I think. You should have said that sooner. It's okay. They're and I assume this is the part from the trailer. Cloud. <laughs> Oh boy, the creepy man whispering in your ears. We've been over this. I do have a scar. I showed you, remember? Liar. <laughs> All right, look. <laughs> Yay. And now he doesn't see it. Those we love, those we fear. Jenova will become and... anyone to fool or prey. Please tell me someone knocks him out. Don't do this! But I'm no fool. And down she goes. <laughs> oh. Don't swallow that shit. Yeah, I don't think she has a choice. Pan, and we all know what comes after that phrase. Wait, what? Oh shit! The phrase. Is... Oh goody, we go on Pinocchio on this shit. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking dumbass! And now he's like, "What the fuck happened?" So, are they really that scared to show? I don't get that. I really don't. But yeah, this phrase is out of the frying pan into the fire. Tifa! Basically means shit's about to get worse. Or like you just get out of it, you got out of a bad situation into a much worse one. Oh. So, uh, Pumpkin. This? Oh boy. What the fuck is going on? Diva, over here! Diva tripping balls. Is this what it's like to be inside a, a weapon? 
or yeah, in the like, live stream. I, I really don't understand what the problem is with showing her scar. Is it cause of, is it cause of the underboob? Probably and Chrissy censorship. Oh, I'm assuming she's in the materia and it's yep. But yeah, I'm pretty sure these are just generic weapons. A weapon? And not ruby, sapphire, emerald, etc. Is she inside the material one? Yeah, I believe she is, yes. <clears throat> and they're white now. If that's not just a cut, oh, nope, there are black ones. Oh, goody, we've been racist to whispers. <laughs> yeah, those are white ones. And then the black ones. Yeah. <laughs> whispers have races. And we've been killing the black ones. <laughs> That's thing. Oh, more interactive triggers. triggers. Fight, fight. And again, are the whispers fighting? Why these have balls in we? their eyes and the others didn't? The live stream. I'm controlling the camera, and that's really it. What the fuck? Hey, look! It's Nibelheim. Indeed. Her home. Relive oh. your memories. What the fuck is this Kingdom Hearts shit? <laughs> I'm gonna go find my mom. Then I'm coming with you, Tifa. Me too. Ah, yes. Here we go. Three boys and the outsider. Hey, look, think Cloud wants to come too? Cloud? Come on, let's go! Next! Well, I mean, is this basically the bridge between death and life? Life and death? Maybe. So because... now we have the water tower and the bridge. Shall we. Can we pursue... interact with this? No. Nope. Oh. Water uh, tower. Water tower. I'm assuming we know what this is gonna be. Or sitting up there with Cloud, yeah. I wonder, could you have gone... What would have happened if you had gone in a different order? Uh, what would the camera angles look like? Good question. I just went with the order that was... 
basically the story order. Well... Tifa's mom died, I'm assuming. Yeah, no, her mom died at a very young age, which she was a very, young, uh, very young. Do we know how? Uh, sickness. She got ill. Since we had choked with a lot of the mothers, in just fiction. <sighs> also, seems like also <sighs> the, it's a very common trope of the protagonist has a dead parent. My white brethren, take me to the land, the promised land. <laughs> well, yeah, Never so, land. whispers have races, <laughs> which means we're racist. <laughs> oh, here he is, uh, and I believe the black ones represent him, the, uh, yep. the white ones represent Normal fates. Oh shit! And now she's running. Get your shit out of my stomach, this bitch! Is probably, that's probably the first time we've actually seen this guy struggle. Or like, actually like, be astonished that something... Yeah, he's he's struggling. He's actually having to put effort into it. Could it also be that he's just weak? He's also he is clearly stating that he's not as strong as he he used to be. Could be that, yes. As uh, his theme. Stay strong, Tifa. Zangan, Zangan. Oh yeah, I still say there's gonna be him at some point. If you give up, you have to want it. Fight for it, hard as you can. Uh, he can't be dead. You need to get up now, Tifa. You can't die here. Too many still depend on you. Tifa! Come back to us, Tifa. We've got a fight to finish. Um, or is that? No, it's gone. Oh, it's <laughs> Your words can't reach him now. Do they actually visit the reactor in Gongaga in the original? Yeah. But obviously that shit doesn't happen. <laughs> Do you still what, encounter Scarlet? <sighs> Can't see anything down there. Why have they go? So. When you go to Gongaga, it's like late in the game. Beached whale! <laughs> What's up? <laughs> you got any chicken nuggies for me? Deserved. Maybe where she belongs. 
Interesting. That's not a good thing. That's not good thing. Uh, look at its face, just. It's like a beluga whale. Spit her back up. Wow, I'm getting more 14 flashbacks. Thank you, Square. For what? Thank you for what? If you saw, you saw. I... What did I... What did I miss? <laughs> stay with us. Yep, whale's gone. <clears throat> but yeah, no, so I don't think we're gonna actually see Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, Diamonds until 3. <clears throat> There's that number. In it's his nays house. used to tell us that when a person died, their spirit would cross Mount Nebo? Yeah. We all knew it was a story to scare us out of climbing the mountain. You believed it, though. I didn't. At least, I had my suspicions. But I buried them. I wanted it to be true so badly. I didn't want to think my mom was just... gone. Plus, Emilio and the others said they'd help me find her, so up the mountain we went. Some help they were. Running off and leaving you out there? Not that I knew about any of that. You don't remember? <laughs> I hit my head pretty hard when I fell off that cliff. I think it messed with my memory. Everything from around that time's a blur. I only knew what the others told me. It didn't even occur to me to question them. What'd they tell you? They said that you egged me on. But now I know that's not what happened at all. When the rest of them ran, you were there for me. You stayed when I needed you most. If that's not a hero, then I don't know what is. I'm no hero. What kind of hero falls off a cliff with the person he's trying to save, then pushes him into a pool of Mako? Sometimes... Oh, so Cloud tried to save her, probably grabbed her hand and fell off with her. I forget things everyone else remembers just fine. And know things I've got no right knowing. It's like there's different people inside of me. And the worst part is, I can't even tell where they end and I begin. Go on. Soldier cells degrade. I think that's what's happening to me. That I'm falling apart that's not going to happen to you you saved me before now it's my turn
God damn it, cock blocked us. <laughs> More like who's eavesdropping. Aww, worried about little old me? <laughs> I, I like how Casey was just standing on. Sorry. Ah, yes, worried, sure. <laughs> Shit, could you read that out? No. I don't know, did we ever figure out how, like, how that is on his back? Like, there's nothing like in God of War and Holster or anything like Kratos has for the axe. Nah, it's... Don't look like there's anything magnetic on his back. I mean, I guess for that circle on his back, I guess, if you really want to do that. Yeah. Really, but... Nah. Right. So basically, we got some nasty-looking black whispers going up against the planet in the life stream. And these whispers are with Sephiroth, right? Yeah. At least, that's how it looked to me while I was in there. And? Any idea who was winning? Could you tell? Sephiroth cut open the, the fucking thing I was in. <laughs> Us. Well, of course we are. What did you expect? This is the planet we're talking about. Y'all know she's gonna pour her heart and soul into this fight. Just close your eyes and listen. Tell me you can't hear that. And here's his speech again. She knows Sephiroth ain't going down easy. And that she needs others to step up. But we're the only ones who can, don't you see? We need to commit. How does he not notice her? To save hers. You in? Yeah. You are. And... <clears throat> Pretty much his exact wow. same. What have I walked in on? Beach. You know, there are places better suited to these kinds of conversations. Like Cosmo Canyon. The home oh. of planetology. It's right around the corner, isn't it? And do they have materia there? <laughs> God <laughs> damn it, woman! It's the world! Everywhere has materia! Oh god! <laughs> What's got you so excited? I grew up there. <laughs> that settles it. We've got ourselves a pilgrimage to make. <laughs> While it won't be an easy trek, this ought to speed things up. A free flyer pilot works out of an old airstrip nearby. Oh. He can take you part of the way. You know who this is. Use the south gate and follow the trail. You can't miss it. And I should... Yes, chokebos want to stay with us. Yep. This here is Fango. He's taking quite a liking to you. Sure, he'd be more than happy to give you guys a lift. Thanks, Cisne, for everything. The pleasure was all mine. And if you okay. Else, he both lost the crap. Okay then. What? So we have you know, before we even go look at the town notice board. See if there are any jobs for us. Always fancy trying my hand as a mayor. No time to dick around. Plenty of time actually. Help my pals out where I can. I swear. Think we can do without your kind. I only did that because I thought you were Marlene. Don't go making it weird. But y'all leave the house. You're better off heading to the airstrip by Chocobo. Got all your stuff? But before that, we got a bunch of towers so and far. quests to do. Be prepared for a long journey. Wait, where's the quest marker? Should be. Oh, it's. It don't show where. Yeah, we got. Towers and shit. 
And we had to we had to go through there anyways. So what an interesting ass. Uh... You think we should call it now? I think yeah. We'll do we'll do a stream later today. Where as to do we usually... exploring Gungaga. Exploring Gungaga, doing all the side stuff, side missions, whatnot. Yeah. So, I do wonder, um, if they're going to include every single, like, how many of the actual weapons are going to include in how many they're going to include part three? You have Sapphire, Diamond, Ruby, Emerald, uh, and the ultimate weapon, which were the five in the original, but then there was also Two other ones. One which appeared in Dirge of Cerberus, and one which appeared in Before Crisis, which are Jade and Omega. So I wonder, are they just going to include the original five, or are they somehow going to put Jade and Omega in? And... Jesus Christ, they put in Omega. <laughs> Doing. Uh, but... And if you're wondering why, Jesus Christ, uh, look at Discord. That is the Omega weapon. <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> well, we got, <laughs> again, like 50 hours in, and I'm not bored whatsoever. <laughs> this game just keeps hooking you in with more shit. But yeah, let's see. We got all of Gungaga, which we have to go through here anyways. And... Yeah. And then we got the, all the proto relics. So yeah, basically every single thing from Gungaga and then combat and then Chadley stuff. Once that's done, then we'll continue the story again. But yeah, and, uh, then and we you arrive in Cosmo Canyon. You remember how I said I wanna? I'm interested in seeing what Ruby looks like in this game, especially. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, in Discord <laughs> is. Ruby weapon from original seven and fourteen. <laughs> uh, look at those long ass things. Oh. <laughs> I just want to see how they go incorporate the long ass fingers and long ass arms. Uh, or if it's gonna find... look completely different. They'll find a way. Anyways. Whew. This was Damn, a this fun. Time my, this time for my modern medicine. <laughs> <laughs> this was a fun stream. Indeed. It's a shame Pocho can't be as <laughs> sternum as Awake. us. Yeah, but you know I don't blame her. So she's yeah, it's fine. She, she gets tired a lot, so I don't blame her. All right, and she we'll... can. I'm I'm assuming she watches these. Yeah. And we'll continue the we'll continue later to, today. Obviously, how will she react to your joking about my cat? Uh, I don't know. I was, I'm gonna call her right now. You ended the stream already? Not yet, but we're ending it oh. now. So, good night, everyone. Stay safe. Bye bye.